performance space. And he's going to share with us what he should have told his mother years ago. Please welcome Elijah McLaughlin. Yes. Yay! I, I'm supposed to practice that last name. So. <laughs> such a dork, I'm just excited to have a little music stand to put my phone on. <laughs> I rarely get to use both of my hands, so it's very interesting. McLaughlin. McLaughlin? Yes. Oh, McLaughlin. Um, happy Mother's Day. Uh, my own mother was supposed to be here, but unfortunately could not make it because of the potential for a tornado between where I am from and here. So hopefully she gets to see like a video of this at least. Anyway, this is a uh, little background on this one. When I was born, there were a lot of very serious complications. I had to be C-sectioned because my head's too big, uh, the cord was wrapped around my neck, I was turned the wrong way, everything. And then after the surgery, my mom got a lot of really serious infections and there was a very good chance neither of us were going to make it, but we both did. And then she had two more. So I guess that means everything's okay. But she still has very serious like scar tissue around the midsection. So it's kind of a reminder and that's what this is about. I'm wasting all my time. Here we go. Your flesh is stitched in sections into my skin. The scalpel cuts segments from your abdomen to open up the portcullis I climbed through to emerge into life. My first god was a surgeon's knife. If only god had been kinder, or at least better sterilized. My veins are threads sewing us together, connecting me to you. First one pulse, then two. Yours was the first beat my newly, heart, newly formed heart ever learned. Your patchwork quilted skin was my first blanket. I never thanked you enough, but, but I never had to. You know how much I need you by the way I still rest my head against your chest like my very first pillow. The scars they left on your body don't look like incisions. They lack the fine edges of surgical precision. They are roped and jagged like teeth marks, like the scars left by sharks because I was ripped from the jaws of life by the skin of the razor's edge, just barely pulled past the gnashing knife points, just barely bent open the mouth of hell, unhinging it at the joint. We almost died, the most intense fight of either of our lives. I cried the whole time. You <laughs> showed so much more reserve. You are stronger than stone and always have been. There's a reason they compare the very earth to a mother. You suffered for it. You poured out your blood like it was communion wine and held on for dear life for 40 days and nights against the currents of chance's floodwaters. The infections ate your body broken from me. The doctor screaming, give me a fucking IV stat and you screaming, let me see him, let me see him, let me see my son. That's what love is. Bodies racked with putrescence begging to see the culprit. Dying breaths spent to give forgiveness to infant criminals clutching their stolen pulses. Blaming yourself for the rockiness of the ride while your skin bears the tire tracks. I hate that you hide your scars. I want to paint their hard lines against the surface on the face of a mountain, but your nobility is in subtlety. You refuse to share that kind of hurt. Dad almost punched a nurse. You both still get a laugh out of that. <laughs> Point is, we made it. We're here. I love you. Yeah. Thank you.